Marjolein, ja? Wat is praktica? Je moet even zeggen, ben je al begonnen? Ja, yeah, this is uh, I'm interviewing I'm Frank van Steenbergen. I'm very happy to interview Mar Marjolein, yeah, Mierburg, who is uh, running the practica. So what is practica, Marjolein? Practica is a small uh, NGO or foundation in Holland um, which is focusing on appropriate technologies for developing countries. And we're focusing mainly on water supply and energy. Water supply and energy, wow, okay, that sounds great. Yeah. So, um, which countries? Uh, all countries, some countries, many countries, <laughs> few countries? <laughs> <laughs> we're focusing on the developing world, as I said before. Uh, we are mainly working in Africa, uh, but we also have some projects in Asian countries. We're not so much in Central or South America, but I hope that one day that might follow you. Okay. And then, um, you know, it's a lot of cross-fertilization from one country to another. So there's a lot to, uh, to gain, yeah? Of course, there's a lot to gain. Um, many people are not so familiar with low-cost technologies. We are very familiar, especially in the West, with a very high-tech and very beautiful things. Yeah. Um, but often they really don't work in developing countries. Uh, okay. Simply, uh, it, is, it is different there in the sense that in our world, uh, labor, for example, is very expensive. Um, mm -hmm. But in developing countries, it's actually the material that's most expensive. So, so adapting your products yeah. accordingly will really help in uh, making a product that suits the user. Okay, and, and what are the big winners in Practica in terms of technologies that you are promoting? Uh, we focus on uh, different technologies. As I said, uh, in water we are really looking, first of all, in uh, getting the water out of the ground. Uh, so with manual uh, drilling okay. uh, to complement the mechanical drilling that already mm -hmm. exists. Uh, second of all, we, can, we have a lot of knowledge on all the types of pumps that are available. Mm -hmm. uh, hand pumps, but also motorized pumps. Mm -hmm. uh, and we can really advise people on what is the best pump for their mm -hmm. uh, situation. Yeah. Um, we also work a little bit on engines and things that have to drive pumps, for example. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Which diesel engine should I should I buy? Mm -hmm. um, and we're looking at energy supply, and we're yeah, okay. mainly looking in renewable energy, um, thermal solar energy, and wind energy. And some people say the, um, you know, one of the biggest problems is the water quality. Yeah. Is there anything going on on that front? Yes, we're working uh, to with uh, some companies, uh, uh, local companies in developing countries, mm -hmm. uh, that uh, fabricate uh, ceramic uh, water filters. Okay. Um, and what we really try to do is to get them to a consistent quality level, so that uh, governments mm -hmm. can actually say, okay, we really trust the quality of these products, and mm -hmm. uh, we authorize you to use them. Okay. So you work with companies, so. That's great, yeah. So yes, we, we try really to work with local entrepreneurs uh, mm -hmm. because we really feel that this is a group of people who can mm -hmm. change um, uh, poverty from inside a country. If you have local entrepreneurs who have mm -hmm. a business, mm -hmm. this really makes it a country um, yeah, work economically. Okay, and is that easy? It sounds like a very easy idea. Proper technology sounds easy. Local company sounds easy, so why do we need practica? It sounds too easy, why does it not happen? Uh, <laughs> oh. <or> without practica. <laughs> well, it is actually easy if you put your mind to it. You just have to start doing it. And, okay. and that's really what I want everybody to know. Just <laughs> come on, let's use those appropriate technologies and we'll make it better. Okay, so good. So better world will be a better place. Okay, great. Uh